Welcome to the world of clickback. This card is irrelevant, it's not part of any skit, I just like carrots. No, <laughs> Believe it or not, I talk to people, and not just any people, every people. Boomers, Millennials, and Generation X make up some of those people. And here is my brief personal description, my own personal experience, so it's basically just a case study of a few individuals that I'm not going to mention, here in this video. That is not clickbait, I swear. Let's start the same way no one gun does. From the top, old people. Proper old people. Early boomers and late silent. These are defeated people. Static and run down of years of tumultuous change and persistent existence. Their thinking is inevitably slow and consistent. Unable to keep up with the constant changing around them. This makes their main information source either books, if they still have an inkling of wanting to learn the world, or newspapers and television news stories, which uh, are for those whose minds have been thoroughly pickled by years of alcohol abuse. As the only joy left in the world for a lot of them is the basics of food and beer. Now for the Soviet Union of generations, ba 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 boomers Primarily due to the high manpower they have. Oh look, that's where boomers live, they call them houses. Never heard of them. Boomers, or put in a more essential term, Facebook users, their wit is faster than the generation above them, but not by much, as their brain has been thoroughly pickled through years of drugs and alcohol. They still hold on to some sense of morality, unlike their Gen X counterparts. There's always a kind of resentment about it all. Their media digestion at least has the diversity of other people existing, unlike the ever-isolated older people who are forever stuck in retirement homes and in isolation of their family and friends. Boomers are still free to roam around, for now. That's where we keep all of the information about Gen X's. And my former X's. Pretend I didn't say that last bit, that would make any sense. Now for the forbidden generation that we do not talk about. Not for being uninteresting, but for just being very disturbing. Gen X, in my eyes, is probably the worst generation in terms of planetary impact. Yuppies and money-centric maniacs. Whereas boomers, you associated psychedelics and weed. With Gen X, you associate with meth and cocaine. It's all about work and money in every conversation with them. Set to sell the stocks now. Just drive through anyway. You can run every few hours and make a good lot of money. Even rural Gen X always talk about getting land cruises or renovations for their backyard like a patio and shed. I am pretty sure their only news source is the block. That is how they learned that COVID existed. Because if we go into lockdown, everything stops. Based on advice coming from the oh. highest level. That's why the shops are shut. The Moby generation lives like Oscar and acts like he or millennials. To boomers, they are the sole source of all the world's problems. To millennials, all their problems are ethically sourced from the world. It's an entire generation with a certificate for in first person shooters. And not much else. Their employment is primarily in the service industry, working minimum wage jobs with practically a dead end, just to keep their landlord happy. They display the beginning of an emergence of a terrible generational trait, the death of the attention span. Well, look at me. Millennials are the first generation to grow up with some common semblance of the internet, and video games more importantly, with their high levels of stimulation in very short moments of time. Video games are probably one of the deadliest epidemics on the planet. Especially EA, f*** EA. The beginning of a fast-paced world where boredom is practically non-existent has created a world where attention deficit is less a disorder and more a survival tactic. Zoomers are... Zoomers. 
There is a reason that their name is identical to that one Mars Day. My generation, and that of a lot of the kids I have worked with in the recent past, have the entirety of the world's wisdom at their disposal, but can only express and absorb such wisdom in 15 second intervals. Ungodly small attention spans and an insistence on consistent technology use and digital communication. I was brought up on memes, tens of thousands at least. If Zoomers are being constantly stimulated by the outside world, then there is an automatic and unconscious movement to the magical black brick in their pocket. This has created, and this is most expressed by millennials, a constant and insistent loneliness amongst Zoomers and millennials. Yeah, if a millennial sees a stump, I'd look at it and go, ha ha, it's just like me, dead. But if a zoomer sees a star, it just goes... As reality has been effectively brain cracked and replaced with 360p videos and Minecraft Let's Plays, totally not referring to any personal experience of my childhood at all, maybe I shouldn't have put zoomers last because they don't have the attention span to watch the entire video and thus miss their own bit. I know full well they didn't watch to the end of the video. Yeah.